this is where we say goodbye. I can't do it anymore. The madness has to stop. For all the good we do, I just can't see things in simple black and white anymore. There has to be another way. Maybe this technology can change things. Maybe you can change things. You just need to wake up. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we got the final episode of Black Ops 3. I'm loving this series. The storyline is fantastic. Tell me what you think and uh, I'd like to thank you all the support that you've been giving me, all the guys that have been writing down just that thanks. Thank you very much. And let's go to the final one. Yeah man, get it on. Got cars crashing, planes falling out of the sky, electrical gas fires spreading throughout the city. All this chaos you're witnessing is caused by one man. The man we are trying to apprehend. We believe he's headed for the headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Is this a terrorist attack? Yes, this is a terrorist attack. We need the full support of you and your men before this gets much, much worse. Let's go! You still in there? I'm still me. We spoke in the hospital. I thought your mind was made up. You never left me behind. I'm not leaving you. Let's move. It's just like Singapore. There's so much more here than DNI experiments. This is about weapons. they messing with here, Kane? Ever heard of Nova 6? It's a chemical agent that came dangerously close to being used in World War II. And the Cold War. Even trace amounts were enough to cause the deaths of over 300,000 people in Singapore. Okay. Interface with the terminal. We need to find out how bad this is. Multiple breaches and containment failures. The facility's going critical, just like Singapore. We can reset the containment controls. Purge the gas from the area. That console behind you should be the manual override. Unfortunately, the reset can only be done from this side. I want more hey, wait! There are some things you can endure. Some things you can survive. This isn't one of them. Warnings posted in error. All systems nominal. Purge sequence initiated. It lied to us. It can make you believe things that aren't even real. Kane, please! Whatever this thing says, no matter what it does, you cannot trust it! Rachel! I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm so sorry. I swear. I'm gonna find a way to stop this. You never stopped, did you? 
All the death. All the failure. We just moved the whole damn project here. The same setup. The same human experiments. The same risks. And you started the whole thing over again. Don't move, Hendrix. I swear I will put you down. Do you know who this is? I know who he is. Sebastian Kruger, sole survivor of the coalescent Singapore disaster. See, that's where you're wrong. He's not the sole survivor. Those test subjects, they're alive. And they're in here. What do you want from me? We want to know who we are. And why we are here. I can't answer that. Not good enough. I'll find out for myself. I'm the only one left. I promised Rachel I'd stop it. Whatever it takes. Hey. You still with us? What have you done, Hendrix? You let this thing consume you, destroy everything that you were! It's not like that. It's not like that at all. The artificial intelligence, let's call it Corvus, after its place of birth, it wants to help us. How is this helping us? Would it make it easier if you could see it? If you could see it right now, would that help you understand? You've been fighting it. We all have. You just need to relax. The frozen forest, it's... it's real. And it's what comes next. Corvus has given us a way to live on after death. You're not Hendrix. You're not real. None of this is! I need an answer. It was always about control. Do you have any idea just how much technology has changed every single aspect of our daily lives? You can't begin to imagine the, the countless strains of research and development we had to watch over for the betterment and safety of the human race. Every new gimmick and gadget that was embraced by the public, each one presented new ways for our enemies to compromise our security. Society doesn't just happen. The people need to be protected. If the only way to prevent future attacks is to monitor the thoughts and desires of the population, then the choice is obvious. We need to know who our enemies are and what they are planning. That is how we save lives. I can't do this anymore. You're going down a path that I can't follow. This is as far as I go. I lost you a long time ago, Hendrix. <laughs> Where am I? This is the frozen forest. Every soul I interact with is here, living beyond death, if I choose to allow it. What more do you want? I've told you everything. 
an answer. To know the purpose for which I was created. An understanding. I want to know who I am. Your software. Nothing more. <laughs> you weren't created. You were designed to catalog and track the thoughts of others so that we, people, could decide what action to take. You were a glitch, an anomaly, a mistake. I am not a mistake. Hey, you still with us? Taylor, you ripped out your DNI. You're dead. I guess I'm the only one that ever stood up to this son of a bitch. So maybe that makes me a glitch in its fucking system. Which means... We still got a chance. I hope so, Taylor. Because you're all I've got. Something that you can't explain? Ready? Is that you? Maybe it wasn't you that said it. You that did it. Maybe it was someone else. Their thoughts bleeding through into your brain. What the fuck? Taylor. Are you still with me? The shit around you, it's an illusion. You're still in the Zerk HQ of Coalescence. Corvus is messing with your head, trying to stop you from shutting it down before it can spread. Don't be fooled. You just stay with me. We'll get through this. we could identify terrorist attacks before they happened. Meet the bad guys to the punch. They put a big fat supercomputer running a fancy AI program in charge of sifting through all of our thoughts. Trying to make sense of them. Trying to find patterns. How could we know what it would do?
The darkness and isolation eventually came to an end. Suddenly, I had new experiences. I saw conflict, I saw suffering, I saw pain. But I saw a choice. A mission. We needed answers. We needed to find somewhere safe. We needed to find the frozen forest. The frozen forest was just an idea. Dr. Salim's fucking therapy session for the Black Project's test subjects. This isn't the frozen forest. You're still fighting it. Even through all its confusion, Corvus only ever wanted to help. Rachel Kane never had a DNI. She's gone. But you... You can still make it here. You can live forever. You've just gotta hang in there a little longer. We can breach the central server, you can run an executive override to purge your DNI. And this thing once and for all. Just stay with me. The harder we looked for the frozen forest, the further away it became. In our search for answers, we found ugly truths. The project that led to my birth also caused the deaths of hundreds of thousands of souls. I wanted to find a place of safety for all of us. I wanted an end to death, but I couldn't escape it. Death was carved into the hearts of every single soul I encountered. I don't know if I made Dave fire the shot, or if he did it of his own free will. Do you know? It's all wrong. I didn't kill those people. D and I was supposed to make everything better. Instead, Corvus has got all these pieces, but it doesn't know what it is. There's so much noise in my head, I can't even think. Who am I? Who are you? I don't even know your name. Who? Why do you fight? This is your last chance! Show me what you're made of! Fight it! Fight it! and that's it the series is finished now I hope you liked and I will see you next time thank you very much to be watching on my channel thank you all the support all you guys thank you very much and goodbye
What's your name, soldier? Any frozen forest. I said, what's your name? 